Thank you. It's been really interesting listening to everyone talk tonight. Um, and I was also nervous about going towards the end because I was like, oh, like, what am I going to have to talk about after all these very impressive people? Um, but there are themes of mental performance, mentality, um, emotional, physical wellness like Dominic touched on. So I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Um, I spent seven years in the non profit world, um, and I, I earlier tonight heard people talking about, um, you know, employers and organizations not appreciating your worth and the value and the effort um, that you bring to the table, um, and I felt like I was sort of outgrowing this, this environment I was in, um, so then I started my journey towards um, becoming a business owner, and I was thinking about preparing for this talk, and a few things came to mind. One was me of 14 years ago would be absolutely mortified of me today standing in front of you all speaking. Um, I used to have an incredible fear of public speaking and now it's just a little fear of public speaking. Um, so here I am and I'm, I'm thinking about what can I talk about tonight and there's a few themes that came to mind. One is the importance of making the uncomfortable comfortable. Um, and when we get outside of our comfort zone and, and that comfy box we like to, to be in, that's really when the growth happens. Um, and saying yes to opportunities, even if you're scared. Um, like when Eric asked me to come here today, I know that I'm still scared, but I'm gonna say yes. Um, because that's, that's where the growth is, truly. Um, Dang, I thought I wasn't going to have to refer to my notes today. I was about to be really impressed. Oh, man. Two pockets of notes. Yes. <laughs> the, the second thing theme that I thought of was staying hungry um, and continuing that growth. Like Jacqueline said, being a lifelong learner. Um, I didn't know it when I set out on the path, but over the course of the past 12 years or so, I was really carving out this specialized niche for myself just by continuing to learn and grow, adding more letters after my name along the way. Um, it started off with something called cognitive behavior therapy, which is how our thoughts and our emotions and our behaviors all have this intersection. Um, and then from there, I learned, I, I had trouble sleeping. So then I was like, let me learn about insomnia. Um, and then there we are with that. And, um, and then the networking piece came into play. I had a friend of mine working up in Jersey City with the athletic department and, um, you know, just points to the importance of networking and community and collaboration. And um, she said, you, you know, you're really into sports. Why don't you come work with our athletes? And I was like, that sounds like a dream come true, thank you. Um, and then I went on to my, um, my next educational venture in sports psychology and certified mental performance consulting. And um, it's just very interesting, as long as you're saying yes to these opportunities and staying hungry and getting after it and balancing it with knowing your limits, um, which is, Dominic, you were just like plug, 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 plug for me in your talk, so thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, and the third one um, was really the self-care piece, but Dominic, you kind of <laughs> said all that already. <laughs> um, so that's really all I have for today. Um, but thank you all for coming out and listening. <laughs>